Hey everyone, welcome to episode 10. This week we've got a noisy shoegaze band out of Minnesota. Flavor Crystals are here, and we take a look at a local Vancouver band called Epis with Andrew Bailey. Also on a sad note, one of the original riders on the storm, Ray Manzarek, passed away earlier this week. Rest in peace to Ray. So we got a parcel here that ties into the next segment of the show. This is a band called the Flavor Crystals from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Awesome psychedelic drone, trippy rock, experimental at times. Great, great stuff. Underrated band. They do have a bit of a following, but uh, more people need to listen to this stuff in my opinion. Love it. Check it out. We are here outside the Cobalt once again with Josh Richardson of the Flavor Crystals, an awesome trippy shoegaze band from Minneapolis, Minnesota, right? Yep. Uh, they are touring right now with LSD and Search, and for, Search God. for God. Yep. Just played a heck of a setup there. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, nice. Tell us, uh, I know you guys had an album called Three that yeah. came out in May of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to tell the people what they can expect on that album? Well, that was kind of our, it was our third album, and um, we decided to go back and take our time and record it ourselves in our own space, and, um, you know, we, we uh, uh, I think we really just tried to, to cut it loose and, and be really spontaneous with it. Yeah. Um, a lot of the songs are, are in a real primordial state, and we just kept them that way. Nice. So, uh we just kept recording and recording and recording and yeah. it was like, wow, we have a lot of stuff here to deal with and so we decided to put it on three records. Yeah, triple white, beautifully packaged vinyl. <laughs> uh, you guys should pick it up for sure if you like Brian Jonestown Massacre. It's beautiful stuff to uh, put on the tunes, uh, headphones, sunny day, get lost, take a trip out, of the, out on that stuff. <laughs> uh, speaking of Jonestown, you guys toured with them in 2009, which is yeah. where I first got exposed to you guys. Uh, tell us, do you remember anything about that Seattle show, first of all? Oh, at well, Nemo's. well, Par Portland and, Portland and Seattle were one of, they were two of the best shows, like, yeah. in terms of just awesome people. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got that little trinket. Oh, that's cool. Very and cool. I got the uh, set list, too, from that oh. show. <laughs> Shit, I gotta look at this. Yeah, tell yeah. us about that show. It was a great one. Uh, Jonestown was awesome. Uh, Matt Hollywood, Joel were... Uh, back together first time we'd ever seen them do that yeah that was a yeah good one. no it was a wonderful tour those guys were perfect gentlemen to, to yeah. be around and they did everything they could to you know they let us let us play it after a crowd actually showed up you know we were yeah. like playing empty halls or anything it was just wonderful they were they good were guys to look up to in oh the genre, yeah right? yeah they were they were really great and um and just the chance to to play to that audience what what amazed me is that their fans are really really cool people yeah. and 
And yep. Not that I was a surprise, but I mean, there weren't a bunch of, there wasn't a bunch of that crap that you might expect. It was really, really a bunch well, of great people who love music, just really, hands down, really open-minded. Music out there, those guys make, <laughs> and you guys in the same vein. It's uh, really great to hear Thanks. that stuff being made in this day and age. Um, do you want to send it into a song off the new uh, new album? Uh, you want to do Mirror Chop or Ivan in the Park? Let people know what you sound like? Sure. Uh, you know, I think Mirror Chop would be a nice way to start. Okay, beautiful. Well, here we are with Josh. Uh, we'll send it into Mirror Chop, Flavor Crystals. Cool, man. Thanks so much for doing that. Appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah, Thank so there's you. the set list. That is so cool. Yeah, buddy, four years later. That was, kept it. you know, <laughs> we actually. So to wrap things up this week, we're going to talk to Andrew Bailey uh, in regards with Epis, his band, and uh, their great, great song, Blossom and Decay. You guys got to check it out. Hey everyone out there, we're with uh, local metal vocalist and musician, Andrew Bailey. The man's so metal, I had to wear teddy bears on my shirt just to even things out. Say hi to everyone out there, buddy. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew's played in a multitude I'm, of bands. I'm, I'm digging the setting, yeah. man. This is nice. It's, yeah. It smells good in here. Nice. You, got, you guys can't tell, but it, it smells Smell nice. Those are real flowers. Those are not plastic yeah. flowers. They're real. Yeah. Good. It's the real deal. Okay, so uh, three bands on the go right now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I've been in Epis a long time. Yeah, that's a pretty, uh, pretty much a... It's kind of a, a more uh, accessible, kind of almost radio rock in a 90s grunge kind of way uh, yeah. band. We've been doing that for a long time, ever since high school. Cool. Um, Good stuff. That, that, that one we've actually haven't been able to jam the last little while because uh, uh, Doug, our drummer, uh, he plays some uh, indoor soccer with me on a team. And uh, I think first or second game in, uh, he took a nice tumble and yeah. sprained his wrist, so we haven't been able to do any. He hasn't been able to do any drumming for a month or so, Shitty. but uh, we're getting back at that next week, which will be nice. Very um, cool. So we've got some cool new stuff to work on. Um, yeah, it's 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 been an interesting ride that band. I mean, there's it's gone through a fair number of lineup changes, and uh, you know the the guys that we're playing with now are all you know really awesome and really enjoy doing it, and that's all you can really ask for, yeah. you know, like. And you've entered the Fox Seeds a couple times with yeah, them, we, right? Yeah, we've, we've, we've done a couple times. We made it top 50 in the, uh, you know, for the online voting. Yeah. Uh, I think two out of the last four years we haven't entered out the last couple of years. Nice. Um, yeah, the the, uh, the experience is interesting. I mean, it's nice, it's reassuring to know that, you know, like people out there, you know, are at least, you know, interested in us enough to take the time to, you know, yeah. click on something and 
you know, they like vote for us. That's really yeah. cool. Well, and you know, we, we made some new friends and some new fans, and you know, a bunch of those people come out to show. So even when you even when you don't advance beyond that stage yeah. in a contest like that, there's still some very very uh, useful things that happen. I mean, you make yeah. you make some friends, you 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 network. I mean, that's what it's all about. You can't have a scene if you're not, you know, if there's no scene, you know, like yeah. people, people have to be, we got to go to each other's shows and yeah. we got to create community. You know, we, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, that's, um, that's what it's about for me. One of my favorite songs that this gentleman's been involved in is an Epis song. It's called Blossom and Decay. I think your vocals uh, near the end on that, the whole thing really, but the vocals near the end that you hit are fantastic. We're definitely going to play uh, that chunk for you guys out there, definitely check it out. Uh, do you have anything to say about the recording of that song or what it's about? Or um, that song, Blackbird in a Cage. It's uh, we it's it's kind of an interesting song. We we had a we had kind of a, a chord progression that that one person came up with, and then another person kind of arranged it, and then you know another person came up, me I guess, came up with the you know melody and lyrics, and then. Like there's just so, so many different sorry different styles, um, you know, brought into the, that song. You know, I mean, it, it, in the end, it ends up being this kind of you know fairly chill ballad, but it's got this a sharp edge to it in yeah. spots, and it's got this really vibey part in certain spots. We're we're really proud of how it turned out. I mean, uh, yeah. the recording of it, um, it actually like it it came out pretty. It came up pretty much the way we expected because we really had a good idea sort of in our minds of how we wanted to, that song to sound and how we wanted it to sort of layer and build. Because mm -hmm. really, that song, and it's not alone among uh, Epis' repertoire, uh, you know, that song really doesn't change. Like, the, the, the chord progression and, the, you know, that stuff doesn't really change all that much throughout the song. Like, I think there's only four chords in that song, really? you know? It's really more about... The, the vibe and the feel and the the ride that it yeah. takes you on you know like we we've, we've got a few songs where we kind of do that where it's not we don't necessarily ch like go into a different chord progression in the chorus you know sometimes it's just some different sounds you know yeah. or a different voicing of a chord you know like it, it's it, the the nice thing about that is that you know it's it's easy and fast, yeah. <laughs> but also there's something to be said for you know something that's simple and natural. You know, yeah, like, it's a great track I'm, for sure. I'm of I'm of the opinion that you can almost overanalyze music sometimes, yeah. as I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, where you, you know you almost like to me I almost I want don't when I'm writing I don't really necessarily even want to know why something. Is coming sounds out. cool you know like I don't necessarily like it's it's good to know the, the theory and all of this just because it makes it a lot easier to communicate how the song's supposed to go to your bandmates or to whoever you're playing with you know when that time comes because you want to be able to actually give people terminology obviously yeah. but I never think about that kind of stuff when I'm writing almost never you know I'm generally just kind of fumbling about with chords and then it's like hey that sounds cool and then I'll fumble about with some other some more chords and I'll find another one and then I'll be like oh hey that was together. two sound together right. yeah exactly right, right. yeah exactly I, I'm, I'm all about I'm all about simplicity when it comes to songwriting <laughs> nice so maybe we'll uh, go into Blossom and Decay right here for you guys and check it out we'll be right back after you enjoy this guy kill it yeah man but this is not metal though don't get the, 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 the metal introduction might have been a little bit hyped oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we'll talk about the metal shit later. Don't worry. And they say In the world of today We never blossomed And all you see is decay So don't wait 